Now, is this history repeating itself, or is we in for a huge disappointment? Uh, well, a disappointment for most of us, because I've seen our, my comments when I do videos about Sasha Banks. A lot of y'all don't really seem to be digging Sasha Banks, man. A lot of y'all seem to be Sasha Banks haters, I should say. But I am trying to hit three, uh, 4,200 subs before the end of the week. If you don't know, I'm throwing a barbecue to celebrate the downfall of Chris Jericho. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw some ribs on the grill, throw a little burger or two, some wings. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. And, you know, the only thing you got to do to make it in, to make it past the bodyguards and the valet, you got to hit that subscribe button. You got to show that you subscribe. And if you don't, I can't I can't let you in. But if you do, you know what I'm saying, we going to be smoking that Chris Jericho pack. So hit that subscribe button for your boy and let's celebrate together. You know what I'm saying? Now, something that's probably not worth celebrating, depending on how you feel about her, it seems like uh, the talks between Sasha Banks and – WWE have ended this whole thing has kind of been weird from the jump of you know it just from the jump of her quitting WWE let's just start there and how she kind of quit uh, a lot of people think that this is kind of like the second time she's quit or walked out and it's hard to disagree and I think it's funny that it's kind of been under the same the same circumstances it's uh the booking of the tag team championships the women's tag team championships that is uh, the first time was when they lost, uh, her and Bailey lost the, the tag team championships to the Iconics, and then the second time was when her and Naomi wasn't getting booked correctly. I believe her and Naomi was supposed to in, enter singles feuds or something, and you know they thought it was ridiculous. And I agree, the booking before Vince McMahon didn't make very much sense. It was, it, it's hard to think about it now, but. It was not a good. It was not an easy time to be a, a fan of WWE when Vince was booking. And we kind of just got used to worst case scenario with the booking, and I won't say it's like leagues better now, but it's better. It's definitely better, and I think I would love to see a Sasha Banks in that environment with a Triple H as the head of the booking. I would love to see uh, Andrade, Miro. A lot of people who are no longer with WWE, I would love to see their booking with um, Triple H. But, you know, I think Triple H also doesn't necessarily have the best track record. He definitely has fumbled a lot of things, such as Cody Rhodes at Mania 39. I don't think he's done the best with Bronson Reed. Uh, I don't think he's done the best with who else? Cody Rhodes. Uh, I already said Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been drinking a little bit. Um I don't think he's done the best with Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Dexter Lumis, such, uh, you know, so, uh, et cetera, et cetera. He's definitely f not done the best. He definitely has a little bit of Vince in him, but I would love to see Sasha Banks just, you know, hear that music one more time. Hear the, you know, just see her in action in WWE one more time. And, you know, I'm not, I, I as far as I'm, I know, New Japan Pro Wrestling isn't very accessible for me, so me I, I would love to see her in WWE again. And you know, uh, it sounds like AEW is off the table, and the only other options are NJPW and TNA. TNA that would be great for her. That would be great for Naomi and what she's building down there in the women's division in TNA. But it's uh, you know, uh, uh, when I say is history repeating itself. We kind of heard the same thing with Cody Rhodes. We kind of heard the same thing with uh, CM Punk that there were no talks or talks fizzled out in terms of in regards to Cody Rhodes, and there were no talks in, in regards to CM Punk. You never know what happened, and such as with AJ Lee and Sasha Banks, I'm waiting to the Rumble. I'm waiting to the Rumble. We'll see what happens when the Rumble hits. We'll see what happens when uh, the Women's Royal Rumble is going on. And I had the same mindset with CM Punk. Um, we'll see what happens at Survivor Series. I thought, I, honestly, even with Survivor Series and CM Punk, my thinking was if he doesn't come out to begin the show, then he's not coming out at all. But apparently I was wrong on that end as well. And he definitely did come out. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? But I definitely think it's a one-way it's only one way she returns, and that is 
at the Royal Rumble. So we'll see. We'll see in about 20 something days, 20 something odd days, a couple weeks. You know, I think I think she has a lot to offer the company. I think she has a lot to offer the women's division. And instead of seeing the same old, same old, she can help build someone, build someone up. She has enough cachet and enough status and enough, you know, uh, equity to, you know, put some people over and bring some people up with her. I don't want to see her in any tag teams. She could even be the manager for Bailey at WrestleMania 30 or WrestleMania 40. Jesus Christ, I'm getting old. And it will be amazing. It will help a lot. It will help Bailey a lot. It will bring more eyes to the the product. It will bring more eyes to even the Bailey the women's match there. I'm not sure how WWE's women's ratings do, but if it's anything like AEW's women's ratings, uh, yeah, 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 they could definitely use the Sasha Banks. They could definitely use any of the help they could get. But who knows what Sasha Banks is asking for? Is she asking to keep her name? I know that she. Filed a couple trademarks a couple days ago. And, uh, you know, I know WWE is keen on owning people's names. They wanted to change AJ Styles' names. The only thing that kept his name was the fact that he had a big-ass AJ tatted on his side. And I know they changed Drew McIntyre's name back to Drew McIntyre, even though he got over in the Indies as Drew Galloway. So... Who knows if it was the name thing? Who knows if it was the money thing? She was asking for more money than Charlotte. I don't know if she's worth it. I'm not sure. You have to ask Brendan Thurston, I believe is his name, in WrestleNomics, how much money she draws and how much money or just how popular she is in terms of numbers. So who knows? Who knows how popular she is and truly her worth as a performer? Me personally, I think she's worth all the money, but... You know, that's just me, and I don't own a billion-dollar company. I don't run a billion-dollar company. I run a about a four-digit <laughs> YouTube channel. So, you know, that's why I am where I am, and they are where they are. They know better than me, so who am I to question them? And they've been right about a lot of people that I thought that they were wrong about. So more than I like to admit, honestly. But, you know, I hope they're wrong about Sasha if it's true that the – the uh the negotiations did fall through so i hope to see her rumble we'll see in about a couple weeks can't wait can't wait for the rumble it's my favorite pay-per-view probably other than mania of course we'll see we'll see uh again i am trying to hit 4,200 4, subs if you want to join the barbecue to celebrate the downfall of chris jericho you know, you know, if you want a, if you want a cigar, the Joe Burrow cigar, we got them. If you want the Snoop Dogg, you know what I mean by that. We got that as well. We got some burgers. We got some ribs. We got some, you know, some wings. We going crazy. We going crazy. You know, I'm okay. You know, um, you know, hit the subscribe button, okay. Uh, I have been drinking a little bit, okay. And um, you're gonna hit that subscribe button, or um, you're not invited to my barbecue, okay. So, <laughs> have a good one. Have a uh, have a good rest of your year. I am like zoning out here. I uh, appreciate you all. I appreciate all the support, man. This is, has been a beautiful last couple months, a, a beautiful year in general. I'm coming, and um, I'm going to finish out the video talking like Mr. Mackey. I'm coming, and um, you're going to hit that like button. I'm coming, and you're gonna um, you're gonna. You're going to, uh, you know, show some support. I'm coming. And, um, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Peace. I'm coming.